Welcome back everyone. You may be wanting to go ahead and save a bunch of storage on any Samsung Galaxy or any Android device for that matter. I have the S21 Ultra which the camera pumps crazy. I'll show you a couple of the main ways that you can go ahead and save a bunch of storage. Now the funny thing is, is that really the main way that we used to do it back in the day, which was the micro SD card slot, you know, expansion portion, whatever, that really isn't compatible for a lot of other Android phones. Sadly, that is very sad. I just hate that so much. So I'll basically break down the main ways and I will tell you the number one thing you can do to save the most amount of storage on your Android device is honestly photos and videos. Deleting any photos and videos that you don't need. But before you do that, Google Photos as of right now is still allowing you to go ahead and back up all your photos and videos free as of right now. And I would 100% recommend you to go ahead and download the Google Photos app if you don't already have it. Literally just go to the Google Play Store, type in photos, find the Google Photos app and make sure you have it installed, okay? This is, I think, the best thing you could do to save the most amount of storage in the least amount of time possible. Typically, you'll have like gigabytes and gigabytes worth of just a bunch of storage on your phone just based on photos and videos. So by downloading this specific app, opening it up and basically storing all of your photos in this specific app, will save you so much storage in the long run. You have no idea. On my personal device, which is this is what I use to back up all my stuff, I've actually pretty much saved so many, like tens and ten, probably like over 100 gigabytes, I would say just in photos and videos on my phone that I have deleted from my actual hard, like hard space on my device. So this is the number one thing I would recommend all of you to do. Download Google Photos as of right now because it's still supported and back up all your stuff within that app. That is probably the number one thing I would recommend you to do, and it's probably the best tip I can say as of right now, because come June or come you know midsummer, whenever Google is changing, they're going to go ahead and actually make you pay for the unlimited storage. But anything you have backed up since then is completely free. So take advantage while you can. That's why this is kind of time sensitive. So if it's already past June, then forget about it. But this is the number one thing as of right now. For some reason you're watching this past then, the typical things that you can do are still applicable here. So what you wanna do, and this is one thing I recommend, is going into your settings app. So you can see my settings is right here. What I typically do at this point is I go into my storage settings. So typically it says storage or memory if you have a different device. In this case, I'll probably go into storage. And there we go. And you can pretty much get an idea of your internal storage, which this doesn't have a micro SD card slot, but also what's taking up the most amount of storage. Again, images is one of the big ones, but apps is typically the one that takes up the most amount of storage. Now you do have things like other, which it doesn't allow me to click into, but apps, for example, it does. So I can go ahead and click apps and it will go ahead and show me all of the apps that I have right here but you can also sort the apps by size. So what you can do is click the size option, click okay, and it'll go ahead and sort all these apps by their size. And what you wanna do here is pretty much delete any of the apps that you're not using, very important that you're not using, but that you, you know, that are taking up the most amount of storage. So I don't play any games, so I can go ahead and delete all of these games here, but I have to keep them for the time being. But if you go through here and you see any apps that you don't use, like this one, for example, 154 megabytes, that's a lot of that, you know, memory for a game I don't even play. So you want to go ahead and delete any of the apps that you don't see. Samsung Health, you can't really delete a lot of these built-in apps, but I'd recommend going through here and deleting any apps that you don't necessarily need. Now on top of that, one thing that I've seen a lot of people do, so if we go ahead and hop back into our storage settings, if there's any updates available. So typically when updates are downloaded, they stay on your phone until you install them. So if you have an update that it keeps telling you to, you know, restart your phone now or install now, you might as well just install that update so it can go ahead and delete that update from its memory. Because sometimes it may be stored on your device, but they haven't. And I think that's what this other storage is here. Maybe the system file, but typically the, you know, other storage is sometimes just a software. So I'd recommend, you know, installing that update and that can end up saving a bunch of storage as well. And ultimately, you know, deleting the cache within the apps as well, which I mentioned before. So if I go ahead and go here and if I click on Fruit Ninja, typically there's a little clear cache option, which typically is somewhere. So memory, as you can see, I haven't even opened the app yet, but going through clicking on memory or clicking on, you know, some other options that you have will allow you to go ahead and clear data or clear cache. Clearing cache may actually allow you to save some storage as well. But typically, you know, I wouldn't recommend clearing the data because it's going to delete everything off the phone. If, you know, at that point, I would recommend just deleting the app. But those are just a couple of ways on how to save a bunch of, you know, storage on any Android device for that matter. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. 
hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.